What's up, ready? It's Arnold with Arnold's Z Talent here. Today we're gonna be showing you how to clean some tires, some wheels as well. Uh, this is my way. That, that's always worked for me, so I'm gonna show you guys right now, okay? All right, Arnold. So, what are you gonna show us today, man? Oh, uh, we're pretty much gonna show you how to do the, the wheels. I mean, my method, everybody has different methods, you know? But uh, this is one of mine. It's always worked for me. So right. that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Are, are big tires more work or different than, let's say, a sedan? Um, no, because I think the only difference might be just a little bit of the uh, wheel wall right here and maybe the tread. But you're not really touching this thing up here, just the face of it. All right, so what's yeah. the first step? Uh, just like rinsing them down, you know, get them a little, get rid of the dirt a little bit. Just remove some of that dust or dirt. And we go ahead and spray it down with some wheel cleaner, tire cleaner. What kind of soap do you use? Any, any uh, special? This is, this is actually some wheel cleaner, tire cleaner that I got over at H2O. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, I use it for the undercarriage as well since I'm already there. Mm. But it's pretty good. Pretty good stuff. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah, like yellow stuff is all dirt, man. All like grease. Probably never been cleaned before. The thing I like doing is using a little microfiber hat just to go ahead and uh, hit the rims down, the wheels down. Shout out to uh, James over at Top Class for putting me on this little mitten in here. What is it? It's a little mitten. I believe it's from Max Shine. Uh, works amazing, you know. I'm not a big, really big fan of these brushes, you know. So I, I prefer something small like this, or even I used to use a microfiber towel. Just throw it away once I'm done. Oh, okay. Yeah. You foam it up again? I do, just to get, uh, make sure we good, get rid of uh, all the dirt and stuff like that. Mm. A little extra clean, you know? I like doing that also because the, the Tire shine will stick on a lot better, and give you more shine. If it's cleaner. Yes. Got it. That's about it. All right. Yeah, but once I mean, once we're all done, if I see anything, I'll go ahead and still touch it up, you know? Okay, cool. And then what's the finishing touches once it's dry? Once it's dry, I'll go ahead and, uh, I mean, I'll do, I like doing the rims first on a bigger truck like this, and then I'll get started on the body. Uh, but once it's all done, we go ahead and dry it up and then shine it up with some uh, bead maker or something. And then just cool. double check your work. All right, Arnold, so what's next on the wheels? On the wheels, we just gotta go ahead and apply some dressing on there, give it a little bit of shine and protection as well. What do you use? I use uh, dressing by Viper. We got over at H2O. It's pretty great, it's good stuff, man. I really like it. Rub it just gentle. Is there any tips you could give somebody watching this on how to apply tire dressing? Uh, I'll say just be careful, do it a little slow. Uh, I mean, if you hit the rim, that's fine. Just get a microfiber towel, any type of rag, and clean it up, you know? But besides that, that's it. I do see we missed a little bit of spots here on the rim, so we're gonna go ahead and grab a microfiber towel and then just hit it one more time. All right, Randy, so one thing I also like doing when, once I apply the tire dressing, I like going around it one more time. And you see all this leftover dressing here? I like getting rid of that just because uh, by the time he pulls out his driveway, all this stuff will be all over the body. And, you don't, you don't really want that. Um, mm -hmm. So I like going one more time and just brushing it off or wiping it down with a dirty old rag. Uh, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you get rid of that leftover dressing. All right, guys, so that's my method there of how to clean tires and wheels. Yeah, let me know if you guys have any other way or how you guys clean them as well. That way I learn or see your guys' process as well. And also, if you want to follow me, follow me on Arnold's Detailing on Instagram, located here in Pico Rivera, California.